Alright, so hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded. Alright, so in this episode I'm going to be uh, getting to the save point in that uh, mountain over to the, my left. Alright, so before running in this battle I should be careful to summon Phantom because I... He'll make it pretty easy to survive most of the stuff around here. I think the kudzus, or whatever they're called, have a raid attack, which will mess with my setup a little bit. And the chimeras, if they use the wrong attack, could probably wipe my party, but that's a risk I'm going to have to take. So, uh... Yeah, getting into Themeza is pretty easy, getting out of Themeza is not so much. I only practiced this segment for like five minutes before starting to take attempts. This is my second one, so... I accidentally mixed an up and up and right and a right and up, so... So, uh, yeah, if I go left and then down here, I can skip a bunch of uh, left and downs that I'd otherwise have to count out and make more room for error, so... One, two, three, and to boot, I uh, then going three times uh, left and down, or three times right and up, or directions like those. It seems to be kind of a recurring theme in this segment. Stop being slow, Strago. You can be slow mentally all you want, as long as you're not slow at running away from these things. So yeah, right and up this time. I want to at least make it to the dungeon this time. The good news is, it seems like I made it through the forest without incident. One. Well, it didn't do it halfway through one, so... I can't complain. I oh, didn't do in the forest either, which is nice because no chimeras. Pretty sure. Or at least less chimeras. Two. Three. Here we go. Alright, let's exit for a second. Um. I'll do it again where, uh. I'll call it if it fails and reset to there, but if it doesn't fail, I'll just keep going. The segment isn't too, too long, so I... I don't mind doing it all in one shot. Alright, down to get the heel rod. There we go. Hello, random encounter that can't possibly hurt me. How's it going? So yeah, I could just walk all the way right and up into this other spot where the exit to this room is. The other way is just a loop and doesn't do anything for me. So I can just keep going this way. As you'll notice, when I get to the top, I'll just start running in and out of the door, but that's perfectly fine because I already kind of know how to deal with it. And I'm probably already there because I'm not getting any more battles. So I'll just stop for a second. Alright, so down, right, up. So the trick is, if I was inside the room, I just went down, right, and then stepped upwards into the doorway. If I was outside the room, I went down, ran into a rock, and then stepped back up to the place I was before. So either way, I should be in the same spot. All the way to the left. The mountainside's a little bit more dangerous because these enemies can do stuff. Uh, those, uh bug things might also have gale cut that could be really nasty if they use that because I don't have another charge of phantom waiting in line alright so go to the top at least I don't spend very long on the outside of this dungeon more time is spent inside what little time is spent in this dungeon because it's kind of short one two three all the way to the right Alright, now I'm starting to get just a little bit worried that about the lack of battles here. 
Preferably, though, I'll get an indicator inside the cave as opposed to outside it. One, two, three. Alright. Yeah, definitely starting to get worried now. It's a pretty long stretch without it to not have any encounters on. Down right. That's not much of an indicator. I could have just gotten that through pure luck. All right, now so now I'm getting to the point where a battle would be an indicator that I messed it up because there should not be any battles into this three statue room that I believe I should be in right at this moment. Straight down. left across the bridge that I presume is there and that I'm not just walking like an idiot into a wall. This room's just a big C, or rather more like a U. I was gonna say a C that's kinda sideways, but U makes more sense because it's actually you don't have to really turn it before you get it in the right direction, but it would even if I was stuck in the first cave room the getting a battle and with those three movements was pretty slim. Well, uh, this should give me a more firm indicator anyway. All the way to the right. But I still think I messed this up. Oh, no I did not, in fact. I'm now on the last save point before I get my airship back. So let's quickly save this and I can tackle Ultros on the next attempt. So yeah, I suppose I was just lucky not to get a whole lot of battles. Guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth sometimes. Alright, up and right, flip battle, but it's starting to scare me when it does stuff like that. Three going, uh, going three times uh, left and up or down right or some sort of like double direction like that. It seems to be a recurring theme in this segment. Alright, one. Two, three, speaking of which, of course. And that should have taken me into the cave. I think so, something's wrong. Yep, let's try this again. 